Matthew Schneier, Deputy Editor of Style.com, and I'm here with Style.com's Market Director, Marina Larude, for the inaugural episode of Style.com's new series, Front Row Unfiltered. For the entirety of Fashion Month, we will be here night after night dissecting every runway trend, book, accessory, beauty look, on and on and on and on until we can't take it anymore. Well, I think we got to start with Jason Wu. Let's take a look, shall we? What I was really impressed by with Jason's presentation today was that he got back to a real sense of sort of American sportswear, really light, really pretty. It was much less hard-edged than, than some of the stuff he's done in recent years. If you just look at his casting, the models that he now gets, he's emerging into the new class of major American designers. You don't get Karen Elson and Carly Kloss and uh, all Don't you love girls. Carly's finale? The way that she walks, oh my goodness. I knew you were going to like that. In your Instagram? Of her, oh, come a on. A professional right. shot. What do you think of Rag and Bone today? I really like it. Again, it's like the 90s feeling. What I like it more, it was like these lit dresses and the finale when Marcus and David, they were coming to, you know, for their finale bowl. Yeah. And then they had no idea. And then their kids show up at the runway and hold their hands. It was such like a sweet moment in New York. You know, after seeing like model after model, you're kind of like looking for something. Ready for uh, somebody younger. Yeah, so like different, <laughs> you know, to happen. Yes. But Suno I, well, was a personal favorite. Is that right? I know, yes, I it love was. Suno. I think they're so talented, Aaron and Max. Yes. It's been such a key year for them. They won the CFDA. I, know. I feel like they're on the up and up. And their collection, I just thought was so easy and cool. Stuff that you want to wear every day if you're a girl and then it's like sort of oversized. And what all like these slip on sandals. Okay. So great. Now every day on uh, Front Row Unfiltered, we're going to be picking a runway look of the day. And I'm so excited that the first one is from Suno. Uh, Max and Aaron's collection tonight was so strong as, uh, as Marina said, and, and I completely agree. The, the look that we ended up choosing was uh, a kind of tunic and trouser look worn by uh, Zhao Wenju, who's a model that we love at Style.com. And I think it really epitomizes what's great about Suno now. It's easy, it's casual, it's not fussy, but really beautifully sequin detailed, um, incredible textile made in Africa, as uh, most of their collection is. And, and a key point of that uh, for them is, is the ethics of the entire collection. For our street style look of the day, uh, we selected this girl. She was wearing like a gray dress done by Phoebe Philo with men's wear loafers. She looked polished. That is how I would love so to be dressed right my now. Loafers, huh? Oh yes, totally, Matt. Are we the same size? I hope not, but I'm afraid that we may be. <gasps> oh, wow. That's our show tonight on Front Row Unfiltered. We're going to have great stuff every day. Tomorrow is a huge day of shows. Really, Ten Poles of New York, Alex Wang, Altazara, Prabal Garang, among the many, many great ones. We'll be here tomorrow night, bleary-eyed and probably a little tipsy, to pick apart every look.